This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and we're going to talk about Ubisoft. Um, I guess I should just split this up into two videos. First video is going to be about, of course, The Division. The Division has officially been delayed, and... The only reason I'm talking about that is because, well, I'm not angry. I'm not, like, internet angry. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not flipping tables virtually and screaming to the top of my lungs on Twitter about how this is just so horrible and these devs just so need to get themselves together because they're screwing us gamers. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the general bitching and moaning that people do today. I'm not going down that path um as far as i'm concerned and i've said this before i am comfortable with you delaying your product so long as the end result is a better product if you delay your product and it comes out and it's a poor product then yeah i kind of should feel a little salty about that because you made me wait for crap um when you could have just put out your broken mess when you want to, you know, like have the balls to be AC unity and not delay your shit to make me feel like I wasted my time. That's, that's just my perspective from it. You know, delay it, make it as best as you can. I'm cool with that. Just as long as you're putting in your best effort, I, I'm, I'm all right. Now, reason that I do have a little, um, negativity towards it is because I was really looking forward to that being the game that probably transferred me away from Destiny. Um, one of the things about Destiny that I've realized that I like is that I like cooperative play so much. And I guess I kind of realized this more so with the Uncharted 3 co-op um, than anything, but recently destiny's been like my co-op game of choice where i play with my buddies um i have a blast with um you know the competitive thing i could do that with my friends but i definitely do prefer more of a objective driven somewhat story driven type of experience when playing with my friends i like you know like on um uncharted 3 Co-op arena, that was my shit. Loved co-op arena. That was just amazing. Um, with Destiny, you guys know that I'm really, really excited about Prison Prison of Elders because that seems to be like my co-op arena horde mode that I've been wanting. So that has gotten me excited. But there's other things in Destiny that you do. Um, even though it's way too repetitive and it has gotten me to back off on the game a bit. The thing that kept me invested in Destiny was that I liked the fact that I can get on with my friends and we could do the grinding thing. We could have fun with that. You know what I mean? So, the the Division, it was going to be one of those type of experiences where you teamed up with your people and you took on missions and things like that. Um, they didn't really talk much about the competitive uh, side so I don't know how competitive that was but you would be able to go into a large world um, patrol the world with your team take on missions um, take over spots things like that which makes me wonder um, I know a lot of people were high on the division but considering the reception that Destiny got from some people I'm wondering how people would have received the division when they found out that it's pretty much along the same veins just hopefully with more content but anyway that's another video i'm gonna have to do that definitely definitely but um yeah i was looking for that i was trying to get my friends to all jump in get that so we can just go and patrol the city of new york take down um the rival factions and things like that uh just going a big adventure that was what i was looking for that was like my end of the year um, big game that I was looking forward to and now that's gone you know and it's a shame but 
it's not going to be gone for too long. Um, Ubisoft said that it will be out in the first part of the year, so expect it somewhere between January to March, whereas it probably was going to hit um, November, maybe early December um, this year, so it's not going to be too long. Away. It's not like we're waiting another six to eight months. Um, that being said, I do find that the delay is actually smart because if you think about it, Ubisoft was about to pretty much screw themselves over with a brand new property. Um, you have, of course, your Assassin's Creed. Um, we have an official release date for that, October 23rd. Um, so that has the month of October slotted. Uh, somewhere in between there, before or after, you're going to have to get Rainbow Six. Um, in between all of that chaos, Rainbow Six has to compete with games like Halo 5. Uh, you're going to probably have like an Uncharted uh, collection to compete with. Um, Call of Duty, of course, is a big thing that's going to be out then. And who knows what else properties are going to drop. So, the vision might have found itself in a position where... Being in the um, genre that we're going to have a lot of action, um, first person, third, maybe third person shooters, adventures coming out, it was going to have a hard, it may have had a hard time to find a foothold um, in, from on people's wallets. You know what I mean? So not a bad idea to just take a step back, move it to a part of the year where there's not going to be much coming out anyway, and you can build the hype around that game and you can dominate the market with it. Um, so, it's smart business. Um, with the recent um, d uh, news about them jo having another studio come on to help them with the multiplayer, they probably have to work out that those kinks, whatever problems they're having. It's just an all-around good idea for the division to just sit back, take a few months, um, and then have its own spotlight in the beginning of next year. So, not a bad thing, but like I said, I'm only upset because that was going to be my big cooperative game for the end of the year but hopefully this delay will bring a better game and that we won't be disappointed when it drops anyway you guys hit me up let me know what you think and i'll haunt you later this is your boy black magazine i'm out deuces